Hello, my name is Lori Elke and welcome to my channel, Elke Art. I love sharing my art videos with you and my children usually do too. Today I did a watercolor painting that was inspired by just the cold that's going on right now. And I decided to do a nice church scene with a little road going up to it and of course the beautiful falling snow. So if you want to do something similar to this, please follow along in my video and see if you can create a beautiful scene like this one. I used watercolor paint and I also pulled out acrylic paint for the white splattering of the snow. So check it out and tell me what you think and please comment below on anything else you would like me to paint similar to this style. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel so you can see when I post new videos for you to do with me. All right, thanks guys. You can see that I have watercolor paper taped to my board. I'm using Arches cold press paper and just masking tape to keep it down. I have traced this church from a picture I found online and I'm using Shenhan Pro watercolor paint. I put my paint tubes in this little set and then I am using my brush to get lots and lots of blue paint, rich, rich, rich blue paint. And I wanna fill my background with this blue, keep it nice and wet and because I'm using a hot press paper, it's very smooth. So my paint just kind of goes all over. It doesn't really stick into any of the little grooves of the paper because there aren't really any. And I'm just trying to really keep everything wet. And the reason I want this wet is because when I add the trees and I want them to kind of bleed into the background. So I'm trying to go pretty dark with this blue. I'm going around my church. And you can just type in church coloring like into Google and it'll give you different coloring pages that you can do and so sometimes I'll just print those off and then you can trace that onto your paper for your main building design. All right now I am going in with a bright orange and am trying to get the color to kind of smush into the background for lack of a better word. And I have a little bit of a, a raw sienna mixed in with this orange, so it has a little bit of a brown tint too. But the reason I'm using this bright orange is because orange and blue are complementary colors, and so putting the two of them together really kind of makes your eyes go wild with the, uh, the two. So they work well together. Sometimes I kind of tilt my board up too, just to kind of get the, the water to um, go a little bit up into the background. It's very, very wet. I let my painting dry and I did go in and actually add another coat of blue to the top part of my painting because it just wasn't dark enough. And now I am adding some water mixed with a little bit of blue to the bottom part of my picture. This is for the snow. And I'm going and darkening like the corners and the edges first, and then kind of working my way up towards the church. The blue that I'm using on the bottom is an ultramarine blue, and it's mixed with a tiny bit of brown too, just to kind of make it a little bit more gray. So I'm kind of putting those together. And then now I'm even gonna kind of splatter a little bit of paint onto the bottom of my painting, just to add some interest. And then I can kind of smooth some of it out with my brush and some water. Now I'm gonna go back up to the roof of my painting because this is where the snow has fallen too. So I want it to kind of be similar to the snow on the ground. So I'm just kind of making that kind of the nice light 
blue with a tiny bit of brown mixed in as well. I want that to be pretty light. I'm also going to do that to the steps of the church. And then now I'm going to add in the road. And I had really lightly sketched it in with pencil, but basically it's just two lines and they're close together right by the horizon. And then as they come up down towards the bottom of the paper, they get a little bit farther apart and a little bit wider. I've let that all dry. And I'm now going back to the windows of the church and adding these little yellow glows by adding just some watery yellow paint next to each of the windows. And it's okay if I go out of the lines a little bit because that kind of helps with the glow effect later. I'm going to let that dry before I add any other paint around it and now I'm going to the door with just some brown and I decided I wanted a curve top to my door so I added a little arch to the top. Next I'm going in and adding a little bit more detail to my road lines here. I'm just using that blue and the brown and a smaller brush and some water and just trying to kind of darken that area a little bit and I don't want it to be too perfect so I'm, I'm making it kind of blotchy as I go here. Make it look like maybe a couple of different cars have gone through. There's a little bit of mud and some snow like that slushy stuff kind of mixed all together where the tire marks are. When using watercolor, it's important to remember that the paint will dry lighter than when you paint it. So I'm going in pretty dark, but it will be a little bit lighter as it dries. It will lighten up a little bit. I'm also going to be adding more dark to the snow so it won't look quite so harsh compared to the bright white snow. I'm blending it in a little bit with the area around it to look like the snow kind of goes down into these tire marks. And now I'm going to add a little bit more dark to the ground by adding a little bit of that blue and then a tiny bit of the brown mixed with it as well. I mostly am using ultramarine blue for this with a little bit of the burnt umber, so a darker brown. All right, now I don't want my church to be so bright white because it is nighttime. So I am taking that same mixture, the blue and the brown, and I'm adding the darker color to my church. My church will still appear like it's a white church, but by darkening it, it'll make it look more like a nighttime picture. You can see right now that the two shades of blue that I have with my roof and the sides of my church are the same. And I definitely don't want them to be the same. I want them to be distinct so you can tell the sides of the church compared to the roof. So this is the first layer of color I'm putting on my church, but it's a little bit too light. So I am gonna wanna go and make it darker so it doesn't just blend in with the roof. So I'm going in and I especially am going next to the roof line and adding the darker marks. You can see even just by doing that my roof kind of pops out a little bit more. But I decided my entire church needed to be darker so I'm just going back in with that same bluish brown mixture and I'm darkening my church and then that roof stands out a lot more. The windows stand out more too, since they're the light color. And it works better for the painting. I'm using a pretty thin brush for this. This really just is a matter of comfort, so use whatever brush you're comfortable using. 
I'm using a round brush, but sometimes it's easier to use a uh, squ square one for this. Going back over the steps too, so they stand out. And then I'm darkening the side as well so that the windows pop out a little bit more too. Alright, now I'm getting my Posca pen out. It's just a little white pen that I use for fine details when I paint. I'm adding the little cross on the top and then part of my roof line got covered and I do want the white to be there too. You see the sun just came out so it's shining on part of my painting. Sorry about that. So I'm adding those little white details with Posca pen and then now I'm using an old toothbrush and some acrylic craft paint. I'm pouring it on a lid. I'm getting my brush wet with a little bit of water and I'm spreading that in and I'm turning my brush upside down and I'm using my thumb to just spray all over my painting. You can see it, I did get a couple giant globs of paint which is not a big deal. I just wipe them off with a Kleenex. I do really want to add a lot of snow to this picture, so I'm going to go back in and really spray my picture with lots and lots of snow. It gives it such a cool wintry feel, throwing all this additional snow onto the painting. I'm going to wipe my thumb off that's covered in paint and then remove the tape so you can see the nice crisp border that it gives the picture when it's done. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe below if you'd like to see more of these videos. Thanks guys.